next to a new print of our things and I've just finished a tutorial which I am quite excited to show you. Um, it is to make a um, teacup candle. So this is my teacup candle. This one is scented with cranberries. This is scented with cranberries, which um, is great for winter and things like that. I know it's not winter anymore. Well, it kind of is, but it smells gorgeous. It's still a little bit hot, but um, it's so cute. And um, there are some decoration techniques that I'm gonna write about in the um, info bar. So don't forget to read those. So there's this one. And I've also made one which is passion fruit flavoured. So I've used this like little cup, it's gold, it's really cute. If you want to know how to make uh, your own um, teacup candle, then keep on watching. Or you'll be able to buy them from my basement boutique website pretty soon, so watch out for that. Okay, so the things that you're going to need are a bag of paraffin wax that's just a little bit I've got left over from a candle I made before so I've got a big bag here it's like little uh, chips of um, wax um, you're going to need some wick string which looks like this you're going to need some of these lollipop sticks if you buy a um, candle kit then usually this will all come with it and then you're going to need your cup and saucer so this is my saucer it's got very cute uh, gold edging and you're also going to need your little cup so this is my little cup it's got gold around here and then this will just sit on the plate with the candle in it so I'll just show you what I've got down here. So down here I've just got a um, metal uh, pan. I've got this on heat setting five with some boiling water in, which I straight from the kettle. I'm just gonna wait for this to boil. And then I'm going to use this little pan to put the wax in. So when you melt your wax, you need to make sure that it's in a non-stick pan and that this pan, uh, pan is in some hot water, so like how you melt chocolate. So to measure how much wax you're going to need, you get your cup. Can you see this? No. And then you get your wax, and you just open your wax. I'm just going to pour this into the cup. Now, this is how much... Um, is in that packet and I'm just going to fill it up with a tiny tiny bit more than the other packet because there's quite a bit already in that so I'm just going to put in a tiny little bit more like that shake it a little bit more okay so that's kind of the level where I want my candle to settle just kind of above the I mean just kind of below the gold line so I'm just going to pour this into the black pan like so now the next thing you need to do to get ready for when your wax is melted is get your string I mean your wick string like this This is an alternative um, little kind of trick that you can do and it is before you pour in the wax, if you melt a tiny little bit of the wax and stick it in the bottom, then you can stick in your wick and kind of place it down so that it's stuck to the bottom of your cup. 
but this is kind of a better idea uh, than to just holding it on the top and then you can kind of measure better can you see that's kind of stuck in there so now I can cut it afterwards um, if I just get um, two sticks again because they need to be the right width or I'm going to actually I'm going to use one of these long kind of kebab sticks because this will fit across and I'm just going to um, put this over the stick It's very quite liquidy now. Shouldn't say the way tonight, no regrets. Just love. We can dance until we die. You and I will be young forever. You make me feel like I'm living. melt can you see on the spoon where it's dry there's a little like this is the wax so very nearly done it's better to have a pan with like a little lip on it so you can pour it out but this one doesn't have one so I'm gonna have to be very careful hi me again just while uh, it's melting I just want to show you couple of things that you can do to your candles. You can add some um, perfume. This is Passion Fruit Home Fragrance and this is the Cranberry Joy. So this would be great for Christmas because it'll smell like cranberries when you uh, put it in. So basically you just add about three drops of this to the wax when it's melted before you pour it in. Give it a little stir and then when you light it, you it to my oil. Um, I got my cups from charity shop, so making they will be on basement boutique. And then I'm going to use my plates as a sturdier. Take out my pan with the wax and be very careful because it will have hot water underneath it. And I'm just going to pour a little bit into the bottom of the cup, like this. Oh Jesus. And then as this sets, it'll set around that. And I'm just going to pour in the wax. Just kind of unravel and make sure you can see where it is in the bottom, in the ribbon. Just hold it to the bottom. 